Hello, my name is Fabio, but I go as Fabs on most of my social medias, and I'm a UK-based content creator for London United. I mainly focus on streaming, whether it is Valorant, just chatting, but I do also want to focus on getting into uh, YouTube, vlogs, challenges, and everything. When I started streaming, the worst part for me was seeing how much the numbers fluctuate. I know you shouldn't care about numbers, but at the start, as a small creator, you can't really help it. You see, like, for example, I was averaging four or five viewers, and then the next day I was averaging, like, one, two, and it really it really hits you. But I got over it. Now I can have a bad day, and it doesn't really affect me or my content. I can have a really good day, and it doesn't affect me. I'm the same whether I'm having an amazing day or an awful day. The, the Me as a person, content creator, my energy is remains the same. I first found out about streaming a few years ago when I saw all my favorite content creators streaming. I started off on YouTube but then I kind of decided that Twitch was the one for streaming at the time in my opinion and I've been enjoying it a lot ever since. I first started playing games when I was about 10 years old I believe. I used to play on my dad's PC and then once my cousin came over and introduced me to this game called Minecraft, obviously everyone knows what Minecraft is now, but back in the day it wasn't so popular. And I fell in love with it. I used to play survival factions with him all the time. And then shortly, not shortly after that, but like around a year after that, we kind of got into CSGO. We used to grind CSGO every day. I used to get home from school, play CSGO, just all evening up until I went to bed. And then same every single day. It was, it was I had the same routine as a, a school kid. So that's how it goes. Then after CSGO, uh, Fortnite came out which I really got into Fortnite for the first two years. I used to play it every single day. The same the same stuff, I used to get home from college, play Fortnite with my friends. Um, I did once want to be pro, but I was never good enough. And then eventually Valorant came out and it's the game I'm in love with at the moment. The best part of streaming for me is the community, obviously. Uh, streaming is nothing without the community. I'm lucky enough to have a very supportive community they are all very close, which actually makes me feel very good in that people in my chat for all around the world have become really good friends with each other and they all collectively come and watch me play games or just chatting or, or just embarrass myself on camera or whatever. I joined London United because I really like what they stand for and I really like what they plan to do in the future, the things they want to achieve, the people they want to work with and just stuff like that. They also made me feel very um, comfortable and welcome first when I first joined which obviously made me realize it was a, a very good decision and they're just uh, an organization I love to be part of and I want to remain being a part of. Another reason that obviously helped me with the, the last step of joining was the fact that my two closest friends were both in London United and are still currently in London United and um, they obviously told me good things about it and I'm just like you guys like it, I really like it, I'm gonna go for it. My one tip for aspiring content creators is don't care about what anyone says because when I first uh, started, I never went all out because I was scared what my friends would say, what my friends would think. I was just, I just had no confidence. I, I felt embarrassed about it, I, even though I don't have a, a single reason to be embarrassed about it. And uh, it just held me back for the first year. But that's just the first thing you got to get over. And then obviously not care about your numbers. Just do what makes you happy make the content and then the growth will come. My main goal for 2022, well, this is a hard one, I've got quite a few goals, but my main one would probably be to grow my community to a point where I, uh, I have the power to help people, uh, whether it's with um, in social situations, whether it is just on, on a message or, or just by my content, being able to help people on a large scale and being able to make them feel better or, or, or influence them to become an active person, start going to the gym or stuff like that.